I toss and turn, I keep stressing my mind, mind. What's going on guys? Today I have another keyboard lighting video for you. This one was actually inspired by a comment from one of my viewers. This comment came from Tempest Arc. He said, can you make a night design like moon, stars, and stuff? When I read this comment, I thought, yeah, that'd be a pretty cool design. But what if you could take a day time and transition into night on your Razer keyboard? So that's what I'm gonna do for you guys today. If you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon. That way you guys get notifications when I upload new keyboard lighting videos. Also make sure to follow my Instagram profile at unrealhero underscore. For every keyboard lighting video that I make, I post the teaser of that video the night before on my Instagram profile. So make sure you go and follow my Instagram. We're gonna get right into this video, guys. This is day and night. All right, guys, so we're gonna start our day and night design by beginning with a starlight effect. So go ahead and click these three dots and change uh, your effect layer to a starlight. Go ahead and click and drag and choose all of our lights, all of our options, okay? And what you wanna do is you wanna click on this color drop down here and choose single color. Click on this chart and bring it down into the white section or you can just put in six Fs in the hex code here. That looks good. Um, I'm gonna slow mine way down. You can do whatever you want with it, but I wanna slow mine way down and uh, keep it at a low density. Hit save. Um, I'm gonna click off of my keys to deselect them and I'm gonna click back on my scroll wheel. And I'm just gonna increase the intensity of this one. I'm gonna increase the density to about five and make it fast. The reason for this is because when it switches to night, I want this to have an increased chance of lighting up white. Because if it's really, really slow, you almost never see it. Next, we're gonna add the nighttime, daytime sky. We're gonna add the sky. So what we're gonna do is come down to the bottom left and click on wave to add a wave layer. I'm gonna right click on this new wave layer and I'm gonna rename it and I'm gonna name it to sky. Okay, so with sky, I'm gonna select all of my keys. Just like that. Go ahead and click on this color drop down, and what you wanna choose is a five node wave. So you wanna look for this pattern right here. Once you have this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this center node here, and you're gonna color it this blue color right here. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this node right here and I'm gonna drag it all the way over and as close as I can to that one. Same thing with the other side. I'm gonna click and drag it in as close as I can. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this second node right here and I'm gonna hit the plus symbol to copy that node. I'm also gonna color this new node blue and I'm gonna drag this one over all the way tied up against the yellow. Once I've done that, I'm gonna click on the yellow one and I'm gonna delete it, okay? So this kinda gives us a, a really small fade effect from night to day. Next, I'm gonna click on the center node here and I'm gonna hit the addition symbol. That just copies that one and I'm gonna drag it all the way over close to the green. Go ahead and click on that green one and hit the trash symbol to delete that one. So now we have a nighttime to daytime wave layer going on and it's going to change the background scenery for your sky go ahead and click off of the color window and you're going to want to change your speed to 10. if your wave is at 100 percent then you're seeing this entire gradient bar your entire color bar is going to be visible on the keyboard at 200 percent half of your color pattern is going to be visible at 300 percent you're only visibly seeing on your keyboard about 33 percent of your color lighting of your color bar that you have up here so what this does is it gives it time to transition from the night to the day to back to the night 
I'm gonna click save and I'm actually gonna come back in here to my color drop down because I forgot one thing. These end nodes are not gonna be black, okay? You click on that end node and make it invisible. And I'm gonna click on this end node over here and I'm gonna make this one invisible. What this does is when it transitions to night, it allows you to see the starlight effect so you see the stars twinkling in the sky. Everything else can stay the same. Speed 10 with 300 and hit save. So that's it for the sky layer. We're gonna go ahead and create our mountains now. So we're going to add a new wave layer down here. We're gonna right click and rename this wave layer mountains. After you've created this new mountain effect layer, go back into your sky layer, click on any of your buttons that you've changed, hit control C to copy that effect, go back into your mountains, and we're gonna hold control and select our mountain keys. I'm just gonna select these ones right here. You can choose whichever ones you want. I'm gonna select my razor logos on both my mouse and my keyboard just because I want those to change with the mountain uh, color layers. Hit Control V to paste in your sky color lighting. All this allows you to do is see where your nodes are at for your sky design so you know where to transition from green to blue on your mountains okay so this very center node here we're going to make this green and we're going to just drag this a little bit dark okay just right here and i'm going to copy this code and i'm going to click on this left node here and i'm going to paste that one in there click on this right one and i'm going to paste the code there as well on the end nodes here for both the left and right nodes I'm just going to click into my hex code, delete the last two, and put 1-1. One, one. Just like that. Come over to your other node, do the same thing, delete the last two, 1-1. One, one. Okay, just like that. And that's it for the mountains. Go ahead and click off of that. Make sure your speed is set to 10 or whatever speed you want, and your width is at 300 and hit save. We're gonna go ahead and create a new wave layer. Go ahead and right click on this wave layer and we're gonna rename this to clouds. Once you've created your clouds effect layer, go ahead and click back into sky once again. Click on the any key, control C to copy it. Go back into clouds and we're gonna hold control and we're gonna select a few keys that are gonna represent our clouds in the sky. I'm gonna go with these keys right here. Go ahead and hit control V to paste those in and click on your color drop down. And you're just gonna bring these in just a little bit because I want these clouds to disappear with the day, you know, before the day is over. I don't want the clouds to show up uh, at night. And it'll cover up the night a little tiny bit if you don't close this in. Uh, click on your middle node here and we're gonna go ahead and change this to F, 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 so six Fs. Go ahead and copy that code and paste that code into all of the blue nodes here. Just like that, so now you have, now you just basically replace the blue with white. Okay, just like that. Everything else looks good. Hit save. So that all looks good. Now we have our clouds in the sky and all we have to do is add in our moon and sun. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add another new wave layer. Go ahead and click on that wave and we're gonna rename this. I'm gonna rename it to sun slash moon. That all looks good. Once again, I'm gonna go ahead and click on sky, copy one of those keys Go back into sun, moon, and we're gonna hold control and we're gonna select the path that the moon and the sun is gonna take. So just like that, that's gonna be the path that our sun and moon is gonna travel. Go ahead and click on that color drop down, or before you click on that, go ahead and hit control V. It's gonna paste in that color gradient. Click on this and we're going to make our center node yellow. That's gonna be our sun and we're just gonna pinch it in as much as we can, just as small as we can, all right? This one on the far left, we're gonna drag this all the way over to the left, and we're gonna color this the light blue. 
click the plus symbol over here to add in a new node. We're going to drag that one as close to the blue as we can and we're going to make this one invisible. Both of the nodes around the yellow we're going to make invisible as well. Invisible and this node out here we're just going to delete that one. So basically you only have two really really small lights that are going to cross the keyboard and one is going to be the sun, one is going to be the moon. So now as you guys can see the sun rises in the day and the moon rises in the night. So I'm just going to fix my mishap real quick. I'm going to change the priority for the clouds to be above the sun and the moon and that is because when the sun rises and the moon rises and it gets over here to where I put this cloud you're obviously in real life you're gonna see the clouds way before you're gonna see the sun like clouds will block the sun sometimes so uh, the sun obviously is not gonna be in front of the clouds it'll be behind the clouds so make sure you go ahead and put the clouds at your top spot that way it has the highest priority up there Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. That way you guys get notifications as soon as I upload my next keyboard lighting video. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.